Hey guys, I'm Kyle, and welcome back to the channel today. So I've been getting a lot of questions lately about Ben Fenton's new backlit Game Boy Color kit. It's known as the Freckle Shack. Now if you didn't already know, yours truly will be doing the first tutorial and review on the Freckle Shack, as well as the official reveal of the product. The Freckle Shack is intended to be the successor and replacement to Ben Venn's original backlit Game Boy Color uh, GBC 101 mod. It's improved upon that mod in every single way. Uh, it is better in every way that you can imagine. There's no more ribbon, uh, no more ordering a separate screen from eBay and hoping that it's compatible. The new screen has superior viewing angles, you can view it in direct sunlight. It has just a generally crisper and more vibrant picture on screen. There's no soldering required to install it, no more 3D printed screw mounts. This thing is the dream mod for the Game Boy Color. And the best part about this mod is that it takes like less than 10 minutes to install. If you're really trying hard, you can probably do it in five. Ben and I have been talking a lot about this kit and this mod in general um, for about the past year or so, uh, ever since he came up with the idea. He's always wanted to replace the GBC 101 mods so that people could just have a simple drop-in kit with minimal work required to install it. That was always his dream. And so I've seen the kit, I've seen the PCB, but we haven't really shown that to anyone else. We haven't shown pictures of the PCB online or things like that just because what we're trying to do is prevent China and others, uh, other prying eyes, from copying any design ideas from the Freckle Shack. The Freckle Shack is Ben's biggest project yet, and it's probably going to be my biggest video yet as well. I'm throwing a lot of money at this thing to make sure that I produce the best video possible since I'm doing the actual official reveal of it. Um, there's a lot of pressure that goes with that. This is actually marking a lot of new territory for Ben as an electronics creator and um, mod inventor, as well as a lot of new territory for me as a uh, video creator and YouTuber. This is taking us in a really big direction, a really exciting direction. So this past week, Ben was waiting for the new displays to come in from China uh, so that he could put together my prototype kit to mail it out to me which thankfully it is now in the mail on its way to me and should be here sometime within the next week or so. So it's coming all the way from Australia where he is at if you weren't aware and um, I'm just really excited. <laughs> I'm really excited to get my hands on this thing and finally be able to show it to you guys. Now there's one little thing that Ben and I want to clarify um, and that's the actual modding for this kit. It is essentially a drop-in kit, but there are two things that you actually have to do. Uh, the first thing is you have to trim the bottom part of this mounting bracket on the front part of your Game Boy Color uh, handheld housing. So basically you just break off this little plastic piece and that'll allow the LCD kit to fit in there. Now the second part of this mod that people haven't really uh, known or hasn't been made known that we want to clarify is that you'll actually need to do some trimming to the pins here for the cart slot on the actual Game Boy Color PCB. Uh, you'll take a pair of flush cutters and just trim all of these pins and then cover them with tape once you're done. That will ensure that you can fully close up your Game Boy Color and um, there won't be any weird spaces or gaps in there. Now, of course, you'll have to align the screen inside of the housing and all of the adjustments that go with that. But um, other than that, you're not getting rid of any screw posts so that you'll still be able to screw in all six screws that go into the back of the Game Boy Color to fit everything together, which is really exciting because now you can reopen your Game Boy Color and take everything out if you so choose. Now, the big question that everybody has is, how can they get a kit of their own? Uh, the first pre-ordering of the Freckle Shack kit actually sold out on Ben's website, so he opened up a second batch of pre-orders, which will be shipping soon after the first. I'll put a link in the description below to the actual item product page on his website so that you can check it out and order one of your own. Something else that I want to share with you guys uh, regarding this upcoming video, the tutorial on the Freckle Shack, is that this will not only be one product reveal, 
but two product reveals uh, in that uh, Jelly Belly Customs is actually making the modified screen lens for the Game Boy Color so that there's a smaller square in this part to cover up any borders or electronics that could otherwise be seen, which there's, not, there's really not much that would be seen otherwise with just a normal screen lens. You can still cover up the borders with tape um, if you would like. It actually looks pretty clean uh, the way that the new mod is, but the custom lenses just help the mod feel more complete. So hopefully those lenses will arrive in time and I'll be able to show you uh, those installed in the full kit and everything. I'll be putting a link in the description below as well for the Jelly Belly Customs page where you can order the custom screen lens to go along with your Freckle Shack kit. Overall, I'm just really excited to be able to bring this to you guys finally. Um, we've been waiting a long time for this, Ben and I, and uh, we've got, both of us have a lot riding on this. I've invested quite a lot into equipment to get this video filmed the right way, um, as well as just, it's a lot of stress. <laughs> it's um, I'm a little bit nervous um, just because of, uh, there will be a lot of exposure um, online of this. We're hoping uh, once the video comes out, share it far and wide, uh, really bring Ben the traffic to his store that he deserves. Uh, he's a really great guy. I appreciate and value his friendship so much and just um, how he's included me in this journey with him. Uh, really just, I can't say anything more um, other than just keep an eye out for the video. I also just want to say that I'm not trying to hype this video to unreal levels. Um, I just thought I'd really give an official update since I haven't really posted a whole lot about it. I've been kind of quiet about the topic, uh, just kind of playing my cards close to my chest uh, just so that we don't reveal more than we should too soon. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching today. Uh, keep an eye out for later this week when I've got another Game Boy related tutorial coming out on the channel, which I've been working on for a couple of weeks. Uh, so I think you guys are gonna like that one. Also keep an eye out for the official Freckle Shack Game Boy Color Backlight Kit reveal video, which will be coming a couple of weeks after that. Uh, once that kit gets in my hands this week, I'm going to be working on that and only that and uh, working on getting that up and posted on the channel. So keep an eye out for that video above all else. If you watch anything on my channel, watch that video. If you like this video, please leave a like below and also consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more content like this or tech tutorials and stuff in the future. Thank you guys again for watching. As always, you all stay awesome and I'll see you in my next video. See you guys.